Parker was our first child. One morning she woke up crying and complaining of a really bad headache and she threw up. We went straight to the emergency room. When the doctors came in, they said they found a plum-sized tumor in her head. That was a Friday morning that we went to the emergency room and they scheduled her for surgery the first thing Monday morning. We were back for our three-month checkup with an MRI and it showed that it had grown back in pretty aggressively. Between three and seven years old, she went through two rounds of chemotherapy and the 20 plus surgeries. And then finally, she was in first grade and she had a cyst again. Her neurosurgeon said, we really need to be more aggressive and get this out. So a result of the surgeries really affected her walking and her movement. It took about six months for her to get back her strength and be able to go back to school. She graduated elementary school last year. This year we celebrated six years cancer free. When Parker was 10, she was able to go to Camp Ronald McDonald for good times. Anyone can attend if they've been affected by cancer. She's my first kid and to let her go away to camp for four days was not something I was really ready to do. I mean, I probably cried each day, missing her and being so excited for her. She's gone every year since then, so last summer was the third year she went, and she was so excited because her little brother finally was able to join her. They came back, completely different kids. The one thing that people ask me is, how do you do it? And I say it's her, it's Parker. She's a tremendous, strong-willed person. Let's give it up for Parker. Welcome. Who's here with her mom, Kathy, along with Dr. Steven Spiker, who's been volunteering at Camp Ronald McDonald for good times for the past 10 years. And Parker, first of all, we're just so happy that you're cancer free. Yeah. I want to ask you, Kathy, how this camp has just helped you as a family and helped Parker. Parker was dependent on us, either in the hospital or at home. And then when she was finally able to go back to school, she had an aide at school. So she had an adult or somebody helping her and tell, taking her places, telling her where to go. And when our nurse had told us about this camp, I thought, oh, I, can't, I can't imagine her doing it and being able to do it without me or somebody with her designated to help her. And when she wanted to do it, I got the courage the first summer she turned 10, and I left her at that camp, and it completely changed. Her independence, her confidence, it's not cliche, it's truly that. How, how, what's your favorite part of camp? My favorite part of camp is the dancing, because like... Uh, you get to dance? Yeah. And it's really fun. Yeah. That sounds so fun. Who does the camp cater to? Yeah, it's, a, it's an amazing opportunity for uh, kids with cancer and their siblings as well throughout Southern California. Um, we're able to bring them over the summer for a week-long camp experience, all cost-free to them. Seeing that transformation is incredible. It truly is part of the cure for cancer. You volunteered for this long before you, you went into medicine. Yeah, this was really what uh, inspired me to be, to be a pediatric oncologist. I'm gonna be a pediatric oncologist in the next three years. And, <laughs> um, and it, it really is, it's, it's campers like Parker uh, that really inspire us. You know, it's the, these are the reasons we go to work every day and I, I love being up there and seeing what these kids are capable of. And I wanna mention that their biggest fundraiser is Walk for Kids, it's on April 2nd. And Parker, you have a team. What's your team name? Yes. My team name is Team Parker and Friends. Team nice. Parker and Friends. And to help the cause, Splendid Blend. They heard about the great work that Camp Ronald McDonald for Good Times is doing. They wanted to donate $2,500 yes. towards Woo. your team. Yay. And that's not all the creators of Booty Max also wanted to contribute. They're giving an additional $5,000 to Parker's team for the Walk for Kids. That's $7,500 for Team Parker. And if you're out there and you would like to learn how you can donate to Parker's team in the Walk for Kids, which occurs on April 2nd, along with the Camp Ronald McDonald for Good Times, if you want to donate, head to our website, thedoctortv.com.